Metaverse projects you need to have on your radar. I'm going to start with some of the bigger ones, but I'm going to talk about some projects that haven't launched yet and are going to be huge, so stay till the end. Like and follow my page for more. Let's dig in. Number one, I'm sure you guys have all heard of Decentraland by now. The first and most well-known decentralized metaverse on the blockchain. Much like the real world, you can buy land, build on it. It's live and a lot going on already in Decentraland. Check them out. Number two is the Sandbox. Much like Decentraland, you can buy land and build on it, and they have a lot of strong partnerships currently, including a Gordon Ramsay restaurant coming up, a Tesla showroom, and Binance buying some space too. Number three is Alluvium. Now the graphics in Alluvium are amazing. The game isn't out yet, but the trailer is. Go to their website and watch the trailer. Now being more on the gaming side and with the kind of graphics that they have, their competition would be Axie Infinity, which are about 12 times bigger than Alluvium. So there is a lot of room for Alluvium to grow and I am bullish on this project. Number four is Wilder World. Now Wilder World have clearly put a lot of thought into their graphics. It's very futuristic, very clean and very well done, they kind of tap into what humanity's idea of the future would look like. Now the metaverse isn't fully live yet, but you can buy NFTs of buildings, cars, shoes. Go check out Wilder World. Number five is MetaHero. I've talked about MetaHero in my lives and in my last video on the metaverse, and it's basically scanning real world objects into 3D avatars and putting them in the metaverse. So you'd essentially be able to do a 3D scan of yourself and turn yourself into your avatar, which you then insert into the metaverse. Now MetaHero is scheduled to launch towards the end of November, and this tech is obviously going to be useful across a lot of metaverses. So check them out, their coins are already available. Number six is Arcade Network. Now like MetaHero, it's not actually a metaverse in itself, but it's tech that allows you to take assets from one metaverse and move them to another. So you could take clothes or weapons from one metaverse and then use them in another one. Arcade Network is also scheduled to drop towards the end of November, so go check them out. Number seven is Star Atlas. You guys have heard me talk about Star Atlas before. The game isn't out yet, but the graphics are amazing. The metaverse itself looks super interesting. They're already selling NFTs for Star Atlas. The game is scheduled to come in early 2022 and they have a huge community already, so go check them out. Now, you guys have heard me talk about all of these projects in my lives or in my videos so far, but I want to throw in a few more at the end as honorable mentions. Hit the link in my bio to join my Discord where we talk about all these things and all of crypto across the board and ask any questions you want. I'm sure I've forgotten some projects in this video. I'm going to keep posting them as they come because for better or worse, the metaverse is going to keep growing. So like and follow for more and stay tuned. Here are the last few. Decentral games, play to earn gaming in the metaverse. This one leads more towards the poker and casino side of things. Blocktopia, built and backed by Polygon, so fast and cheap, which is awesome. A skyscraper made up of 21 floors to honor 21 million Bitcoin. And it's a hub in the metaverse for all levels of crypto experience. Check them out. Multiverse, not out yet, but just got $15 million from Samsung. You'll be able to build your metaverse without needing to program or code. Yes, there are many more. Yes, I will make videos. Hit me in the comments and let me know your favorites. Like and follow for more. Hit the link in my bio to join my Discord and come find me at Tatiana Dimaria on the gram.